there is a lot of noise in the constitution about medicalization of disability. A lot of noise. And you get that noise when you read provisions like, you know, articles disqualifying a person with unsound mind from holding public offices. When you read Judges' Inquiry Act alongside provisions dealing with appointment of high courts and Supreme Court judges, it's appalling to even read what, what the law says. If there is a charge of physical and mental incapacity, how can there be a charge of physical and mental incapacity? A person will acquire physical or mental incapacity. But the law says if there is a charge of physical and mental incapacity, and if it is alleged that the same leads to inefficiency, then the concerned judge has to undergo medical examination. And if, if he fails to do so, then the committee may decide the matter ex parte. Right? So when it comes to medicalizing the disability, constitution is extremely noisy. There's a lot of noise in the constitution, no silence. But when it comes to uh, responding to uh, treaty obligations, like, you know, we, we passed overnight the ordinance to come fulfill our obligations under WTO, right, patent uh, ordinance. But what about obligations India has to fulfill under United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability? Why, for example, there is not a single uh, reference in any law commission report about the need to amend the constitution and uh, you know break the stoic silence over the question whether uh, physical and mental disability should be one of the grounds of non discrimination why this can, this should be a question is it a question even there is a lot of noise in the constitution no silence